YouTube, it's me, Brianna. So it's been a while <laughs> since I made a video and you know, in my last video I said something like, see you guys next week. And then I never followed up with that, which shouldn't surprise any of you. I'm really sorry about the absence and the delay, but I'm back now. And on my calendar, I've been <laughs> trying to work in some time to film these videos and to blog and all that stuff more regularly. If you're watching this, I have just released my second full-length novel, Reflections. Reflections is a YA urban fantasy slash mystery thriller. I don't know. But there are shapeshifters in it and people get killed and there's just a lot of cool things. So if you haven't checked that out, I definitely encourage you to do so. I'm going to leave a link below to the info page on my blog where you can read the blurb and things like that. If you have already bought a copy of Reflections, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. You guys are amazing. Anyway, today's video is going to be me talking about how I release a book, what that process looks like, and how you can adapt it to suit your own book releasing needs. So when it comes to releasing a book, one of the things I really believe in is marketing your book while you're still writing it. And I've actually done a post on this before. I'll link that below as well. So as you're drafting the novel, you can start this whenever. You can even start during the first draft if you want. I recommend tweeting. It, well, especially tweeting, but posting on social media. You can tweet your lines of dialogue. You can tweet things about your characters, share aesthetics, share playlists, things of that nature to really start getting people excited for the book. The reason you want to do this while you're still drafting is sort of kind of to gauge the market as you're going. Um, I mean, obviously you shouldn't write only to market, but you definitely want to make sure this project you're investing all your time in is going to sell. So once you've done that, I recommend actually finishing the book. That's the biggest part of releasing a book, I would say, is actually sitting down and doing the work. Because the truth is, anyone can start a novel, but not everyone can finish one. So once you've gotten your novel written, obviously you're going to go through the editing process, whether that's editing yourself, switching with critique partners or beta readers or hiring a professional editor, you definitely have to edit. You can't, you can't publish a first draft. I don't care who you are. You can't. It's a mess. And if you publish a first draft, you are not going to feel good about yourself when the reviews start coming in. For me, what I like to do is I like to switch chapters with critique partners and, you know, use some beta readers once I'm finished. From there on out, usually I make some revisions on my own before sending it off to my editor. Once I get the feedback from my editor, I will make the changes they suggested if I agree with them. Once the feedback has been implemented, I will go ahead and get the book ready for release, which, because I'm indie, means I format it and set up the ebook and paperback files, order a proof, make sure my cover files are all together, and just a bunch of weird housekeeping things like that. Now, obviously, if you're a traditionally published author, you won't have to go through as much of this yourself. You are primarily responsible for writing the book, and from there, you have a whole team of people who will help you do the rest. That's not to say that one branch of publishing is easier than the other, it's just to say that they are very different. Once you are approaching your release date, um, I recommend, you know, if you set up a pre-order, making sure all your pre-order files are together and ready to go. Um, otherwise, just number one, celebrate. Number two, make sure that as many people as possible remember when your book is coming out. Tweet about it, blog about it, send out a newsletter if you have an author newsletter, um, post on Instagram. Basically, you want to make sure that no one has the excuse that they haven't heard your book is coming out. You're just going to throw it out everywhere so everyone knows <laughs> what your big day is and what's happening on that day. Finally, once the book is out, post about it when you can. Um, try not to overdo it even though it is your release day. It's just a normal day for almost everyone else. So feel free, if people are talking about your book, feel free to engage with them and interact with them. You can retweet them, quote tweet them, whatever. I recommend kind of interspersing all that with retweets of other people's content or things of that nature that aren't necessarily related to your book. So that's about all the time I have for today. I just thought I'd make this quick video talking about my release and how you can release a book successfully, semi-successfully. A big thank you to all you guys who have supported me while working on Reflections and who are supporting me by buying Reflections. If you guys can think of any more topics you want me to cover in future videos, feel free to leave that below. And as always, comment, like, subscribe, thumbs up, tell your friends, you know. So I will see you guys next week. Bye!